Hey there, Segudo golfers. Tom Segudo here, PGA member, founder of Segudo Golf. And I'm here with a really quick question for you. Are you struggling with hitting pure iron shots? Are you finding it difficult to hit the ball first and take a divot in front of the ball? Well, golf's number one fundamental is hitting the ground in the same spot every time. Being able to hit the ball first, take a divot every single time. The pros know this, they do it all the time. This is why they're so good. And this is also why when a pro miss hits a shot, it's not terrible, it doesn't get duffed right in front of them. They don't lay down animal pelts worth of sod. Now they usually, when they miss hit it, the ball still goes almost the same distance. You ever wonder that? So when they miss hit it, it's not so bad. And what I'm going to show you today is a very simple key that you can do in your swing. It's something I always go back to when I start hitting it awry. You can go back to this. This little key will have you puring shots in no time, instantly. You've heard me talk about this a million times on the channel, but one of the biggest keys to being able to hit the ball first and take a beautiful divot in front of it is maintaining your body's relationship to the ball at setup and then throughout the swing. So we get set up, my body's relationship is established in my posture, my spine is tilted toward the ball, and throughout the swing, I need to maintain this spine tilt toward the ball. This is my relationship with the ball. Why do we need a relationship to the ball? Well, you want the ball to be your friend, for one. And two, this inclination, this relationship that I establish here, that's my way of talking to the golf ball, communicating with the ball. If the ball is your friend, it's more likely to go where you want it to go and not where it wants to go. You got to communicate that to the golf ball. Start talking to the ball. And that's why this swing key is so awesome. This is something I always go back to when I start hitting a little squirrely. You start with your setup, and I think chest down, your solar plex right here, the middle of your chest. Chest is pointing at the ball in your posture. Get a mirror and make sure you've got this figured out. You can, you can see what it looks like. But you want your chest angled down, and the top of your backswing, imagine this point here in the middle of your chest is still pointing at the ground. Now obviously my chest points to the camera here because I've got a shoulder turn, but this point right here, staying down, keeping the chest down. This point will always be down. So the chest, the center point of your chest is always angled downward. I get a nice full shoulder turn, my shoulder turns down, relationship to ball maintained. It's critical that you do this with iron shots, with driver, anything, if you want to hit it clean. Almost everything in your golf swing goes back to this key right here. So you get over the ball, the center of my chest is pointing at the ball, at least that's my feeling. You should feel the same. And when I get to the top of the backswing, I still feel like the center of my chest is pointed down at the ball, even though I've got a nice full shoulder turn. So what you're going to do, establish relationship, chest point at ball, and then all you've got to do is focus on making sure that chest points down throughout the swing. And I, I promise you, you'll hit a pure every single time if you can do this. You won't come out of the shot. You won't have issues with swing plane. You won't be chopping wood all day because it's a function of how the chest is turning relationship with the ball maintained chest pointed down throughout the swing. You keep the chest down, top back swing is still down, impact, it's still down. Through the shot, it starts pointing you know, away from the ball, but it's still angled somewhat to the ground, and then through the finish, you don't have to worry about it. Relationship to ball maintained throughout the entirety of the golf swing until the finish. It's the secret. It's the secret key of all ball striking masters, chest down. And notice how the ball is going a little bit higher off the start. It's launching higher because I'm compressing it better. I've got the relationship to the ball maintained. You'll hit it on the center of the face all day. It's be crispier than KFC all day. If you want dime like patterns on the center of the club face, check it out. I even groove some white golf ball in there. You could do this all day long, all day long. I'm not even thinking about my swing. I'm just thinking about chest down, chest down, 
stay down. Oh, that felt good. It's not bad for a morning out here. It's really nice, beautiful day. Hopefully you get out there and play some golf. If you go out and play some golf, keep your chest down. You have some fun. Chest staying down. Pure, pure. I feel ball first, then the dirt in front of the ball. By the way, this golf mat is a real feel golf mat. And I've worked at a couple of different private clubs who use these. You won't get anything that feels closer to grass. So when I hit this, I know I'm hitting ball first and then taking a divot in front. Chest down. Look at that. Chest will stay down into impact, stay down into impact and through. Chest down. Isn't that fun? Works with every club in the bag. Works in every time zone of the world. Works wherever you go. Even works when you're working in the office. You can do this with your, you know, you got some sales calls. Chest down, chest down. You'd be surprised the amount of uh, benefits there are to doing these things in everyday motions. Chest down. Middle of chest points the ball throughout the swing. Piece of cake. You might be saying, well, Tom's a pro, so this is really easy for him. Throw that out the window. Yes, I've got my PGA membership. I've been doing this for seven or eight years teaching this. And it doesn't matter who you are or how long you've been playing. You start doing this, it happens instantly. My first stack and tilt lesson, I learned something similar to this. Keep the shoulder down, lead shoulder down, because I was one of those people that would lift up. But if I kept my chest pointed down at the ball throughout the swing, I found that I hit it pure almost every time. And I was a complete newbie to the system. I was doing that whole traditional shift and lift and my shoulders would level out thing. And then I made the transition to stack and tilt and I keep the lead shoulder down just by pointing my chest at the ball. And that was the feeling I always came back to. It wasn't some feeling somebody gave me. It was just something over time I started saying, you know what? I always come back to this. My chest always feels like it's down. I'm going to help other people see how this feel works. And it works amazing with anybody. Keep the chest down. Doesn't matter who you are. You'll hit it great all day long. No worries. Right in the middle of face. Chest down. Woo! It's a good day to be. It's a good day. Good day to be playing golf. I'll take you all to the face on view in just a second. But you'll see how this all works. Chest staying down. This is more important, just feeling the chest staying down. It's effortless, it's right on the center of the face. It's powerful. I have not hit one off the center yet. Chest down. I'm not thinking about my swing. I'm just thinking about the chest. It's relationship to the ball. Relationship maintained. I could talk to the golf ball, communicate with the ball. And you'll be a good day. You'll have a good day. So let's go face on. Here we go, continuing the chest down feeling. Chest down, even though I've turned, it's the feeling, it's a feeling. And you'll stay down and through. Here we go, chest down. That felt good. Yeah. So clean. You'll never want to go back. <laughs> you'll never want to go back to the old way. Here we go again, chest down. Ooh. Feels good. Here we go again. If you just do this all day, it's so therapeutic. 
chest down. Oh, that felt good. That was powerful. Chest down. I have not hit behind the ball yet. Yet! I'm not even thinking about much other than keeping the chest down here. Chest down. Woo! Let's do it again. Does this ever want to stop? No, it's fun. Here we go again. Chest down. Staying down. Whew. That feels really good. So Segudo golfers, really consistent golf swing key. If you want any chance of hitting the ball pure, ball, divot, ball, divot, every single time, you've got to keep the chest, your body's relationship to the ball throughout the swing. It's a must. It's a must have. If you don't do that, you'll always be inconsistent because you don't have a relationship with the ball. But throughout the swing, I'm maintaining this relationship to the ball. It makes everything else fall in place. It's very simple, very repeatable, easy to remember. It's one swing thought. So you can have some really nice iron shots immediately through this. So thanks again for tuning in tonight. And if you're looking for a simplified way to play your best golf right now, check out my website, segudo.golf where I'll show you a complete golf swing learning system from foundation to finish. And we'll have short three to five minute videos teaching you throughout the entire golf swing, even the short game, bunker play, pitching, chipping, putting, and more as I continue to build the online school. And lastly, subscribe to this channel if you'd like to have the best ball strike of your life because that's what I'm doing. I'm here to help you play your best golf right now. Do yourself a favor, get rid of the 20 or 30 years of bad habits you've been doing Start with something concrete. This is all based in physics and geometry. It's a simple system. Now, I don't talk physics and geometry because I don't think golfers need to know that. I think that's really overkill for a lot of people. I just show you in simple stuff like keeping the chest down. Boop, takes care of everything. Takes care of the physics and the geometry. Club goes the proper path, it's a good day. Thanks again for tuning in, Segudo Golfers. I'll see you in the next episode, so have a rockin' week.